Okay, to overlay an image on top of another one to make it look like it's actually part of the substrate, in this case the garment, um, you need to select a couple things. First of all, we need to select the t-shirt and meaning in between the areas, make sure we're going to have to really select in between this whole uh, area within the necklace. And we'll and the way to do that, uh, there's a couple ways. First, I already took the time to select the necklace, so I'm just going to load that selection. And the way you do that is, uh, well, if you save it, and I'll show you how to save it right now, but let me load this real quick. And here's the necklace. Now I'm going to go ahead and select uh, the background. And to do that, I'm going to use my magic wand, hold down shift to add to my selection. You see the little plus is going to add to it. So basically, everything is selected except the t-shirt and and that's what I want because basically we don't want the image to overlay the on top of this necklace we just want it on the white part so we're gonna have make two selections so first of all we're gonna save this selection with the background and any type of jewelry or if they had buttons or if you were doing it for banners uh, selecting the grommets or uh, if you're doing it for a vehicle wrap selecting the mirrors, selecting the windows, stuff that's not going to be portraying the... Okay, after you're done selecting what you've, uh, your area, you want to save this selection. And the way you do that is go to Selection, Save Selection. Because you're going to want to bring this back up and name it whatever you want. In this case, I'm just going to call it Selection. Okay, now that it's saved, I'm going to go ahead and right click layer via copy and basically if I turn off my background layer you'll see that it's all, um, the background of the image including the next necklace was uh, saved um, or cut out so let me go ahead and turn this back on let me turn off this top layer I'm going to reload that selection selection load selection click here and call, select the one you s saved and now well, we're going to inverse our selection to basically select the t-shirt only. So we're going to go to the selection, inverse selection. Now we're going to go ahead and right click, layer via copy. Then you should have two layers now. One with the, um, the t-shirt and right now if you can see nothing got selected. And this might happen which is a good example because I did it and I made a mistake what happened is I did not select my background layer I had this one selected so basically when I went to select the inside when I went to go select the inside it selected nothing because there's nothing there so let, let's redo that I'm gonna go ahead turn that off and just select my background layer and make sure it's selected go back to my selections load select selection and go back to selection inverse now if I go right click layer via copy now we have basically let me delete the mistake now we have these two we have let me turn off our background as you can see now it's just the white the t-shirt that's only selected and if I turn this on and vice versa so we're pretty much ready to go um, once you have these uh, ready, you want to go ahead and make a duplicate copy of, of your t-shirt. So right click, duplicate layer, just click OK. And we have two copies here. Um, now what we want to do is the one on top, we're going to go up here where it says normal and change it to multiply. And it's going to change the color of our t-shirt. It made it a little darker. It's You can play around with that, but um, uh, sometimes your colors might be off a little. So uh, that's the only drawback to this. But you, you'll see. It won't make much of, much of a difference next. Now the next thing we're going to do is bring in our artwork. And what we want to do is we want to put the artwork in between the multiply layer. If you can see it says multiply. And then this layer that says normal. So we're going to put it in between there. So I'm going to go in, go to our artwork. Bring it into Photoshop. 
resize it as you can see it it crops it out when I you know make it bigger and then just press enter and what you what happened now is you can see right here in this area it looks like it's part of the t-shirt doing the shadow areas it was because of setting this to multiply if I didn't this is how it would look if I put it back to normal and my bad let me turn that off if if that's how it would look normally but by turning that on and then selecting this to multiply that's how it comes out and as you can see the top layer has the necklace it's overlaid on the top so it makes it look like it's actually on the t-shirt and that's how you do that now let's say on a banner uh, this is was actually what you were asking for I didn't want to do it on this banner because it's really bad resolution but it, it'll still work uh, and basically I already went ahead and did uh, this stuff already um, as you can see I have um, th this layer that's already multiplied and the bottom layer is normal so I'm gonna bring in my artwork and bring it in, and put it in there I already did a banner I'm just gonna select it and then drag it into Photoshop okay now as you can see it's already inside it's already masked it's already cropped into the area so what I'm gonna do is um, let me turn this off so you can see how well first of all let me press enter so you can see what's going on see there's our artwork okay let me resize this now what we want to do is make it look like um, perspective tilted so first thing we want to do is we have to convert if if you brought it in, in as a vector object you need to convert it into a raster image but if, if it's already an image a JPEG then you don't have to do this but in this case this was all vector I need to rasterize it so I'm gonna right click here rasterize layer because what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the perspective and if I don't do this rasterize layer look what happens this is how you change the perspective you go to edit transform and perspective I can't um, select it that's why you have to rasterize it first rasterize layer now I can go to edit transform and it's actually um, distort not perspective but um, you can use either or but I find it's easier to use distort so let me go ahead and turn these on and now while I have my image layer selected I'm going to go to edit transform distort and basically I'm gonna align these corners to each corner and it's gonna automatically set it to perspective it works easy with banners now if you had other stuff like a vehicle or something then you might want to use the perspective button um, but for banners the distort works perfect and there it is it looks like it's on the banner itself